all right what is up another nice day out and I'm here in the back of the van working on the curtains and I wanted to show you a trick uh, well, first of all I'm using the um, the snap idea that the uh, that road trek I'm using their idea they started uh, on the tops of almost each window they had these little snaps so I'm using that same idea for the new curtain idea here I'm adding snaps going down the sides the bottom uh, but here's a trick that I'm doing so these snaps are already here in place um, so what I'm doing is I'm using a uh, white paint pen there you go doesn't matter what brand or whatever it's just paint uh, you can probably even use white out um, but if you had a light fabric you would probably use a black you would probably, probably use black paint so anyway I'm painting if you can see there I'm painting the uh, buttons here the snaps and what I'm doing is I'm holding up the fabric in place and what that does is it transfers the paint onto the back of the curtain and that tells me shows me exactly where I need to um, first cut a hole and then place one of these buttons uh, these little snaps right here um, put the snap in from that way and then you have this back piece goes on like so and then you have a set a set tool in here it's in here somewhere um, and you place it on that middle ring and you hit it with a hammer and it crimps the um, it crimps the size of that uh, cylinder right there and it holds everything together as you can see here and there so I'm gonna get these two cut in first I'm going to pop pop this curtain up and then while it's sitting up there I'm gonna go one by one I'm going to paint the outside of this which will give me my location on the wall I'm gonna screw that snap in snap it in place and then I'm gonna um, be able to pull this pull this taunt and then we'll and then I'll paint the, the next one down the row and pull it taunt and it'll give me my place to put the snap which is the other end of the button which is these little little guys same thing as you saw up there and you just for that you just put a screw right through the um the wood so there you go uh yeah and these are the screws that came out they're pretty long so i hope the screws i got are long enough i didn't want them too long where you know, i'm scared that it would go through but these should be yeah these are plenty long enough so so there you go stay tuned while I put the first one up actually I've already did one uh, I was fooling around with it last night and I got one in place so here you go so I got one of the skylights up as you can see I just um, replaced four of these screws with a smaller head because the screws were too big for these um, snaps and there you go I just pop that up like so and I think there might be an issue um, I tried this out last night um, I've been getting moisture of course on the windows because of the uh, the moisture in the air and, and I read, read this some research and apparently uh, propane adds moisture to the air so when you burn your propane heaters you will you're adding moisture into the uh, RV so um, so yeah so my windows have been sweating so I wanted to try this out last night this window was sweating more than these two um, which is alarming um, and I think it has something to do with this already being a little bit warmer and that warmth hitting the window um is causing it to sweat these two weren't even sweating as hardly any at all but this one was sweating 
So, um, not quite sure if that's going to be a good fix for the, um, the moisture, the window sweating. So what I did was I picked up a couple boxes of this here. And, I'm, you know, the little film that you can get, you put around your window and then you take a hair dryer and it stretches out. So I'm going to try this after I get the curtains up. And I might, I'm actually thinking about even trying it on the windshield. See if that will work. Um, it may work, it may not, I don't know. Um, the other thing I'm, thing I'm thinking about is uh, basically saying screw the cab. And I'm thinking about uh, making some kind of insulated bulkhead and basically just seal off the cab area from the back. All right. I got one of the panels up. I'll show you how it turned out. Oh. There we go. Completely blocks all the light coming through. See that? So it works out as a perfect um, uh, light. Uh, blocker absolutely no light will get in and out um, I think I talked about these before but in between the two pieces of fabric there is the uh, that bubble that silver bubble insulation yeah that's in between the two fabrics um, I didn't put these two snaps on yet I almost screwed up because I want to put on a strap along with the snap um, I'll show you real quick give you the perfect example here with the old with the old one so here's the top the top snaps right here and what they had done was they added this piece here and uh, so what what happens is when you roll the curtain up that oh, let's see. you know you roll the curtain up and then you grab that strap and there you go so that's the same thing I want to do for the new curtains you got it so yeah so uh, I left those two off for now and then I'm gonna do two at the bottom as well but what do you guys think I um, so far I'm liking the way it's turning out uh, I still have to do the the cutting and everything the template for the back window but I got this window ready to go as well so I'm gonna continue doing that yeah I am liking it so far pretty sweet a lot better than uh, the purple curtains they had all right so skip forward into the day uh, it's about a little after six o'clock and i got a lot more done with the um, curtain slash insulation for the windows and um, i gotta have a couple lights on here because they work pretty damn well <laughs> let's i'll give you a little quick look around so you already saw that one. I now have that one done. Well, for now. Like I said earlier, I still gotta do the little strap so I can roll it up. And then I got the remaining two of those. And um, I left all of them open on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that sewing wise, uh, because I might wanna add a second layer of insulation. So once I sew that up, that will be a little nicer looking. But, um, yeah, in here too. I, um, uh, man, I am very happy with this. I still need to do this one. But that's a good comparison. That. 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 Grandma 
more like my age. <laughs> Grandma, my age, young. Old, young. Um, and I also have this side one done as well. Give you a look at that one as well. Why not? Let's do this with one hand here. And snap, snap. You get the point. So there we go. Uh, let me shut the door and see what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, next thing is the upholstery. <laughs> uh, I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, this with the blue, it looks kind of ugly. But um, yeah, man, I am very, very happy with the way this is turning out. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I've been very busy with the van here the past couple days, and um, I am very happy with this. Man, um, yeah, I'm liking this a lot, <laughs> and I'm thinking about doing the just, just cutting off the cab with the um, the same method. Uh, I might do maybe several layers of the insulation for the for splitting off the cab, but um, I think that's going to work nicer than trying to. Uh, sorry about the mess, by the way. But I think that's going to work nicer uh, for privacy and um, insulation, keeping it warm back here. Um, uh, I showed you the solution. I think I'm, I, it might be a solution for the windows uh, sweating. I have the plastic. I'm also going to be picking up a, um, basically it's an RV dehumidifier. So I'll be picking that up. It's, it's small. Uh, I think it's 120 volt, um, but that shouldn't be a problem since I now have the inverter. Uh, and I'll just have that running at night or you know whenever I need it. Uh, it's low consumption. My AC unit I put in, it actually does have a dehumidifier on there. As you can see, this is dry. Um, I had it running maybe for... 10, 15 minutes earlier in the day and um, I was sitting there out there watching the inverter and uh, the, in the inverter where it says 12 volt you know 11 volt whatever it did <coughs> excuse me it did drop I saw that light dropping down a little bit uh, in between 12 and 11 so um, I decided uh, against running the AC period. I might run the fan maybe if I need to, but what's the point? I have the I have this here and I have this little fan here. So there's really no point of, of even running the fan on that. So I'm just gonna keep that breaker off during the winter. Uh, yeah. And I'll be picking up you know the, the dehumidifier off of Amazon. Uh, when, when I get it, I'll maybe if you if you guys want, let me know. If you want me to, I'll uh, make a video, a, you know, a quick video unboxing of that, you know, and then maybe um, let you guys know if it works, how good it works. Okay. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the uh, video at that. Um, again, let me know what you guys think. Um, do I have a home run here or what? I I, lo I love it. Um, again, it's kind of clashing with the blue. But that will be something uh, later on in life. Uh, I don't know, unless somebody wants to um, donate several thousands and thousands of dollars to have it all redone and post, you know, all the chairs redone um, so if someone out there wants to do that by all means <laughs> PM me and I'll uh, give you my address you know where you can send the, uh, the check 
but but no other than that um, yeah I'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching guys if you liked it hit the thumbs up and uh, of course any questions any comments any suggestions let me know in the comment section hi see you